Hi guys, this is Simeon from Swedish Homestead. I am working on the temporary cow shelter on our farm. Let's go take a look how far we have come and continue the project. These are all too thin. So I'm gonna cut down these two smaller trees. They will need to be cut down anyway when we manage this forest here. And I'm gonna use those to build um, this um, cow shelter that's just temporarily. So these will just have to last for three months and um, then I don't need them anymore. So otherwise you would not use this kind of wood for that work. For this I'm just going to use my silky handsaw. I just want to demonstrate to you guys um, how good the saw is. This saw blade is already a couple years old. I've used it a bunch and um, the saw, the link to the silky saws is down in the description. I can highly recommend it. So I'm just going to cut down this tree um, with this saw just for fun. And now I'm cutting with the fibers and that's always um, that's always hard for any saw to cut like that So you see, this is uh, about 10 centimeters, four inch, and um, the saw did it no problem. Now aspen is not the not a very hard wooden stuff, but it still gives you an idea of um, how sharp these saws are. And this is the fine blade. There is a rougher one. So yeah, amazing hand tools. So I'm gonna cut these in three meter length and then carry them up to the barn um, and there I'll do the rest of the preparing. Amazing. So this tool, I don't know what it's called in English, I know it in German and Swedish, but I am going to see, the ground is a little frozen, we have an extremely mild winter, but it has been around freezing, a degree below freezing, a degree above freezing for a few weeks now, and the top layer is frozen, definitely. I just wanna see if I can break through that so I can um, get this done here.
Okay, now I'm definitely in the soft area there, and I don't want to get deeper here because the one, um, the, the wood that I just um, cut, it's just supposed to be in here with a tip so it won't move. I will show you in a little bit. So what I will do now is I will put some posts here in the ground, some fence posts, get them really deep and strongly anchored in the ground, and then I will strap these um, pillars or whatever you might call them that, that are put, gonna put tension on the structure, I will strap them down to these posts so we can get a good nice roof over this temporary shelter. Not only is the top layer frozen, but this is also on the road where we always drive with our machines. Big forest machines have driven here, our heavy tractor that we used to own and um, there's nothing I can do about it. We need one of the fence posts right here. It's a long way down in this crazy hard ground. But this is a very nice tool that we made ourselves. We welded this together just because you use your whole back equally and you don't stand there hammering, missing, breaking the fence post. This is worth a lot on a homestead. We'll see. Okay guys, now I have strapped it down and it looks pretty good to me. It's not 
exactly level in the front, but that's fine. The, I'm just, I just want the snow and rain to get down. But if it snows a lot, we have had this, like I said many times, mild winter, no snow. We've had this drought all last year and it continues now um, throughout the winter. We barely get any, um, any rain or snow. And I really hope that will increase some before next year. But if we will get some wet snow, especially, I will have to push it down from up top um, because it'll be too heavy. But I think my next step will now be to close this up for the cows, get it ready and put some bedding in there. I will walk you through that process. So thank you for watching. We will see you in the next video. Bye bye.